Hey, yo, what's up, what's up, guys? Zade here with another episode of Zade's Experience. So today I wanted to make it a quick little short video uh, so I won't get too much into the intricate, but if you haven't already done so, please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. You guys know the deal. Push that notification bell if you like this video and definitely, definitely leave a comment down there and a like. So today I just wanted to give you an idea of some of the things that I've been doing while in quarantine. Although I know a lot of you guys have been asking, you know, what to do in quarantine. I've looked up that one of the, some of the most searched up terms on Google is what to do during quarantine, which is kind of crazy. And something that I've been doing that's been helping out a lot, again, with the whole rewiring of where all this is going, how my life has changed, um, whether it be for the better or be for the worst, I think reading right now is of the essence, especially in a time where there's a lot of uncertainty. So we can't really change anything that's happening on the outside world. Well, we can definitely, definitely rewire our brains. We can rewire our souls. We can rewire ourselves to be better human beings, to better interact with others, to better interact with our families, to be just decent, more loving people. I think that we can definitely work on that. And regardless of whatever's happening outside, um, we might not have any control over that, but we definitely have control of whatever's happening with us. So with that being said, this is a list of some of the stuff that I am reading or have read in the past couple of years. And honestly, it's been helping me out a lot to just kind of go over some of these books once again. You know, it's a little reminder, a refresher. So here's a list of some of the stuff that I have read or have gone over in the past couple of days once again. And what I'm using, guys, I've either been reading these books or I've read them in the past or I've done an audio version of them. So you can definitely find these on Audible. If you haven't gone over to Audible, I highly, highly recommend it. It's 15 bucks. And then um, I think when you first sign up, you get like two or three credits and you can put those credits towards any book, whether it be 15, 40 or however much the book costs. Um, not sponsored, but I definitely, definitely recommend it. I think it's something that could really, really enrich your life right now in a time where you can't really go outside as much or maybe go to a school or something like that. I think this can really, really help. And Audible, I think, is the way to go. So one of the first categories that I usually look into when getting a book, it's self-development. I love working on myself. I like working on self-development. And some of the books that I'm going to mention here really, really do help, I think. One of the first ones is... 12 Rules for Life. Dr. Jordan Peterson is a is the writer of the book and he really goes through these 12 rules that I think are really, really essential. And maybe not all of them, but I think that the first nine to 10 at least are super awesome rules that I think really apply to everyday life. I mean, the, mo the more you go through the book, the more you start realizing, hey, this is this is stuff that I can definitely use to work on my everyday life, to work on me. I have the book right here and it's it's super awesome. I've gone through the audiobook, I've gone through the actual book itself. And here are some of the chapters, that way you guys get a little bit of a taste. It's obviously numbered um, one through 12 rules. And the first rule is stand up straight with your shoulders back. Second rule, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. Number three is make friends with people who want the best for you. Number four is compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. I think that's a very important rule. And again, there's several others. You guys can definitely check out the book. It's really, really awesome. And I think it really helps you go into your own psyche and really study a lot of the things that you do on your everyday life. Second book, which I think is right up there. I don't think one of the books is better than the other, but Can Hurt Me by David Goggins. For all you hardcore guys, if you guys haven't read this book, you guys will realize that, you know, being hardcore is one thing, living through a tough life is another thing, and embodying, like being the freaking representat representation of just hardcore every day, like being that tough all the time, it, it, it it's crazy. And this guy is the living representation of that. I think David Goggins is really a tough, tough person, and he really exposes himself on this book, and he really shows you why he has developed this mental toughness and he definitely shows you how to do it yourself and it's no easy task i this when i read this book this was the reason why i started doing my morning runs this was the reason why i started doing seven miles a day in the past 
and I think it got me some really good results and it really gets you a mental toughness that you might not have possessed or thought about in the past or something that, it, or it leads you to believe that you can achieve much, much more than you might think that you could ever do. So highly recommend this book by David Goggins, uh, Can't Hurt Me, that's the title of the book. Highly, highly recommend it. Top, I think top one and top two against Jordan Peterson, 12 Rules for Life and Him Can't Hurt Me. Those are the best ones, I think. In another book, nothing short of amazing. And I think it's also, it's it's tough to decide on all these, um, which book is better than another. It's just, all these books have taught me so much. I, I can't, it's just such a wealth of knowledge. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. So if you really, really want to know how to act in both a uh, social, political, or just be a gentle colleague, I think, with anybody, I think this is the book for you. I think it really shows you so many things. It shows you how to interact with people, how to see other people's side, how to not just like tunnel vision, what you want, what you want, you know, like you gotta, you gotta understand that other people are humans, that they have needs, they have urges, they have all of these things, and those need to be met in order for them to actually help you out, you know? It's not an unreasonable ask. And this book just really goes through the nitty gritty of how to do all these things and not do it in, in, in an unsincere way, in, in a way where you are just gonna get the best of everybody, but more of how to do it so that everybody is kinda happy, you know? I think it's an awesome book. Again, I, I can't stress it enough. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Again, great book, guys. If you want to learn how to negotiate, <laughs> if you really, really want to always win, on the other hand, uh, I really recommend the book of Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. That is a book for all you negotiators, for all you people that cannot lose a debate, for all you people that want to win uh, it's an awesome book. He shows you, he he was a life negotiator, like, you know, when people get, um, let's say somebody went out to Russia or something like that and something happened and the police kind of got him and they wanted to negotiate for for his life, for the for the person's life, you know, some they were asking for some kind of ransom. This guy would be the negotiator of, of that deal, you know? And so he learned over several years of working for the government how to really negotiate out of anything and he was he, the skills that he learned are amazing and he passes them on to you in this book again never split the difference and i use this book when i went to go get my car at the dealer and from at, like from the cost that it was supposed to be and it, mind you, this was a brand new car when I got it, like same year, you know, the model it was the newest model and everything. I got the, I got a pretty nice trim on it and I ended up taking off of what the guy wanted after breaking the guy down for, I think, four hours of negotiation, five hours of negotiation. I got the car down six thousand uh, dollars uh 650 and he threw in gap insurance and he threw in some leather mats and he threw in a bunch of other stuff that wasn't included with the car and so yeah that was that's what i got from this book so if you guys want to negotiate hardcore that is a book for you never split the difference if you're looking more for the entrepreneur kind of book you know all that mindset i think the tim ferris book the four hour week is a really good book but i think it's a little out dated by this point and so um i think it's an awesome read still i think it's awesome to go through the book which where he shows you how to keep yourself working in the stuff that you are interested outsource everything else outsource all the crap that you don't need on your everyday life and how to make it so that that becomes profitable so that your passions kind of become true so in that sense i think it's pretty awesome that there's a book that kind of shows you everything or gives you kind of a rough idea or blueprint as to what to do but i think that the blueprint as time goes by is becoming a little bit more and more irrelevant or I shouldn't say irrelevant, outdated. Not everything on the book is is as doable as it was when that came out. But it's definitely a good read. You should definitely, definitely read it. Again, it's Tim Ferriss, so you can't go wrong. Again, the book is called The Four Hour Week. And then there's a couple of other ones that I'll go over real quick. The Loss of Human Nature. I haven't gone through that entire one. That one's huge, but it really helps you go into how humans interact with each other in a very meticulous way, like 
painstaking meticulous way but it's pretty interesting if you have the time for it i think the read the entire read for this is like 30 hours and right now uh, i still got like 15 hours left <laughs> so yeah that it's it, it's tough it's a really tough read but again the loss of human nature by robert green greeny <laughs> g-r-e-e-n-e greeny i guess or green yeah. greener the Art of War by Pressfield, uh, that's a good book as well. The Power of Habit, this is another good one, a really, really good one um, that I highly, highly recommend. Send in The Art of Archery, again, an awesome book. If you are, this one in particular, I have a great connection with because as a musician, sometimes you want all the answers, you want all, or my life, the way I can apply it to my life was, as a musician, I, I think I learned a little bit too much when I was very young, I learned a lot of things about music that I wasn't ready to accept at that moment. Not because I was stupid, but because I just couldn't comprehend them. You know when 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 people tell you, hey, don't do that, don't do that, or they tell you something and you've heard it so many times, but then when you're like, I don't know, like five, six years ahead, all of a sudden they, somebody else tells you that and it clicks. Yeah, well, this is what this book shows you, like why that works, why that doesn't work, or why that happens. And it's a really awesome book if you're trying to master anything, if you're trying to master a sport of any kind, if you're trying to master a musical instrument. In my case, it really worked for me. If you're trying to master just about anything, I think it really, really applies in so many ways. So definitely, Zen and the Art of Archery, really amazing book. It's by Eugene Harrigal. And I'll leave all these down in the description below so you guys can check them out. And again, these are all for self-development and all that. So these are really cool books in my opinion. Really, really, really cool. Actually, I'm, in, I'm gonna give one more. It's non-fiction, but it's a pretty cool book actually. And it's called Born to Run. If you guys are ever questioning whether you can run a marathon or not, check out this book, Born to Run by Christopher McDougall. Awesome book. It is the reason why I use minimalist shoes up until this day. It's why I'm always barefooted and I'm not even kidding, look. Now I have an arc and it's all been because I've started using uh, minimalist shoes and I started doing some other things. And as you guys know, that's uh, this book was actually one of the reasons, one of the things that got me running, you know? It's an awesome book. It's a cool little story. And I think it's really, really well told. And yeah, highly, highly recommended Born to Run. And again, the last category that I'm gonna give you guys, and this is just, again, this has gone way too long and this was gonna be a quick little video. Um, Health and fitness. If you guys are looking for the all-encompassing Bible for what to read when it comes to your fitness and just upgrading everything, The Boundless Book by Grant Ben Greenfield, I think is the way to go. I have it right here in my Audible account. And at the same time, I have the Bible here. It's a huge, huge book. It's more like a textbook, but I kid you not, it has some amazing chapters, guys, in it. I got it signed by Ben Greenfield actually went to this convention and it was super super cool uh, it was a launch party for his book but let me show you some of the some of the chapters that it has it has a couple of chapters here it's quite a bit of stuff that's why it's such a thick book but um coffee booze and horror flicks how to you know like there's so many just just so many things how to rewire your skull supercomputer how to fix a leaky brain how to banish stress and kiss high cortisol goodbye how to feel your brain nootropics smart drugs and psychedelics brain biohacking gear games and tools i mean the list just goes on and on there's even a chapter called f diets you know um, how to customize your nutrition to you and i think this is an awesome book that has helped me out a lot guys a lot so boundless book by ben greenfield definitely check it out and another one <laughs> for you guys uh, i've mentioned it before the art of fermentation this is my bible for fermenting stuff it just shows you just about everything you need to know about fermentation it's a, I, I highly recommend buying the audible guide and at the same time buying the book it just has so many cool pictures and some of some of the stuff that that you can see there it's just it's awesome when you can physically see the pictures of the fermented it's really really good book again the art of fermentation highly highly recommended author sandor elix cat and then 
same book, same writer, Wild Fermentation. Again, this is a book that's a little bit older than The Art of Fermentation, but it also has some really interesting pictures, uh, and I think it goes through some really cool stuff. I couldn't find an Audible um, book about this, but I highly, highly recommend it for you guys. Awesome book. And if you guys wanna learn more about meat for all my carnivores out there, this book is amazing. Franklin Steak, I, there's not an Audible book for this, but it's an amazing way to learn more about meat, meat flavor, where your meat comes from, is grass fed, grass finished, organic, and all that really what it, what it is set to be, you know? Is does the organic symbol mean it's always organic, you know? It could say organic, but what does that mean? You know, is it was it fe was it fed organically, or was it just organic for a portion of a life? Like, there's a lot of things that go into making good practices, and this book really just really implements it. Franklin Steak, it's a it's an awesome book, guys. I highly highly recommend it. Aaron Franklin and Jordan McKay, those are the writers of this book shows you how to cook your steak properly shows you how to source your steak properly shows you anything and everything that you might want to know about steak it's an awesome awesome book i highly highly recommend it it shows you about the different cuts it has some awesome illustrations it shows you why something is called like a del mosillo steak you know or like a couple of other different cuts that you might not might have heard of or if you see them like that in the supermarket what are they what essentially are they you know my brother definitely passed that one on to me and i and i really appreciate that wired to eat by rob wolf if you guys are worrying a little bit too much about your diet this is a good book that's going to teach you not to do that i've gone through the book uh twice there's definitely some good stuff in this book that I really highly, highly recommend. Lifespan by David St. Clair. <laughs> awesome book. It'll really show you how to prolong your life as much as possible, what the downsides are, what the, like, everything that has to do with lifespan. It just goes through all that and it's a super, super interesting book. Highly recommend it, guys. And other than that, I only have a couple of other recommendations, but again, this has gone a little bit too long. Um, it was gonna be a short one, but, as always, I had to make it long. But again, guys, it's definitely a good time right now to kind of work on yourself, at least in my point of view. I have been working on myself and I'm gonna keep on working on myself and hopefully some of you guys come out of this quarantine being um, better humans, better people, more loving, more affectionate. And I know I can definitely, definitely be more loving and affectionate. Um, my girlfriend tells me every day that I should. So <laughs> I definitely know I can work on that and a lot of other things. And I think these books have really, really helped out, bring out those qualities that I have always struggled with a little bit more, you know, just improve them a little bit more. If you're a little bit better than you were yesterday, I think that's good. And if you keep on working on that, that's interest. That's compiled interest over time. And I think it really makes a difference. So I think right now it's a perfect time to read. It's a perfect time to fill your brain with knowledge and stop filling your brain with all the nonsense that the internet has to offer, you know? Looking at the Dow every day, looking at the news every day is, is gonna drive you nuts. I know it's been driving me nuts and I've been stepping away from the computer as much as possible and this is what i've been doing instead and trying to fill my brains um and these really long walks that i've been taking every day with all these books with all these with all this information and everything these people have to offer because this is knowledge that has been compiled over time that a lot of times it's these people's life works and they put it into one book you know and we have the privilege we have the the awesome medium to go ahead and buy a book and resume a person's career in a matter of like a week, you know, go ahead and go through a book that's like 300 pages or something like that, or even faster. Some of you guys can read like crazy. It's amazing. It's an amazing time to be alive, guys, and don't forget that again. We're here, we're healthy, and the ones that aren't, um, hopefully you guys get healthy. And that has been all for today, guys. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. You guys know the deal. Push that notification bell if you haven't already done so. And definitely, definitely keep it locked in into this channel, guys. But in any case, Zay, out. Peace.